Philadelphia, Mississippi has struggled with infamy since the summer of 1964. Three civil rights workers registering blacks to vote were murdered by the local Ku Klux Klan. We're trying to improve our city. Jim Prince and Leroy Clemens are part of the New South. Prince runs the local newspaper. Clemens heads the county's NAACP. <laughs> They have formed a multiracial coalition in Philadelphia to help heal the city's wounds. My predecessors would not probably not have sat here and trusted Jim at all. Once we kind of got to know each other uh, and understand where the other was coming from, we, we made a lot more progress. Is there still an issue with trust? I think it's more about the people who are still in power that want to stay in power. You, know, you look at all these new voter suppression things, voter ID laws, and you see it happening all over the country, and that's, it's scary. African Americans make up 37% of Mississippi voters, the highest percentage in the country. 29% of its state legislature is African American. That's also the highest in the country. There's been incredible change, basic drastic change. When is the federal government gonna quit punishing us for the sins of our great, great, great grandfathers? Jim may think we're there already. I don't think so. To me, there are still people in, in, in positions of power and authority in Mississippi and in the South who are not ready to turn over control or share power with the min min minorities right now. The weight of history on this community may be lighter, but it has not fully lifted. Mark Strassman, CBS News, Philadelphia, Mississippi.